Hi guys, this is Queen Muhammad, and you have returned back to the Godmother podcast. Um, I am with you today to talk about something that's very serious. As you know, we do our music reviews. We have such a good time. Um, we listen to new music, and everybody knows that I am the CEO and founder of Mad Pop Records. So. We just always having a good time. But sometimes, even if you go over to our Mad Pop Records page, because I've been doing this for a long time, even though this is my first official podcast, I've been kind of doing this for uh, maybe, I mean, since 2017, 18. Uh, you can go back and look at prior video, definitely 2019. Um but I know before then, so I'm not new to this space. I'm not new to YouTube or anything like that. Um, now, don't get it twisted. By me doing music and working with so many artists, um, I haven't been able to do this full time. I mean, that is a drawback um, from kind of spreading yourself too thin. But... Um, I wanted to talk to, I, know I, had, I had a show on there about grief, I had a show on, uh, I always give you guys updates and stuff like that, but I do have serious topics sometimes. And sometimes, like the episode where we talked about Will Smith and, and, and how um, I kind of um, met him as a child, um, well, I'm not met him as a child grew up with him <laughs> in Overbrook um, and how cool of a guy he was and um, and a little story about that you can go back to the video and watch that I don't really want to go over you know it's another series that's going to be coming up maybe soon and we'll deep dive into stuff like that but I really want to keep this one on topic because um, as you know you guys know um, I'm not a rich person. Um, I'm a person who um, I'm just a hustler. I hustle nonstop, and that's what gives you the respect that you need to get through the doors that you need to go to get through. Now, as far as um, a lot of money, I don't have. So and I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. The people who have money hustle the hardest. So it's never in any downtime. They're not enjoying what they have. They're just continuing to hustle, you know, get hip to the game. So you, you can hustle, just, just continue. You're going to keep, if you're a hustler, that's the, the thrill of things. Uh, you know, the rewards are the cherries on top. But the hustle is... Um, to a hustler is something that's um, the most important thing. So, and people like that hustle all the time, like Nick Cannon and things like that, they don't, I mean, of course you have time to enjoy what you have, but they're always working is what I'm saying. So that's the lesson to take away with that. But a hustle Everybody sees that. You can go over to Mama Bear Queen 215. You can go to Mad Pop Worldwide to see everything. But I'm not rich, so of course, <clears throat> I work jobs. I'm here, there, and everywhere else. And I must say, I have experienced that. I've never, not to the level of this, but it's it's... It's very hard to to break through when people are not listening or taking it seriously. So I just wanted to have like an open forum, a discussion where I'm kind of like talking. You can kind of um, uh, watch this. I know people can watch it at the rebroadcast. It's going to permanently, per permanently be up. So even down the line, if you would like to just use this um as a space to share your thoughts on that 
Um, I'm not going to deep dive into my issue, but just know I am having an issue <laughs> and um, it's not being taken seriously. Uh, and that's a shame because you can see things a mile away. And it, it's, it's, it's nobody's fault but the people who did not listen. That's the sad part. It's all these other layers that get, that goes before listening. And that's the sad part. Um, but I'm not going to deep dive into that situation. Just know, um, just to continue to keep me in, in prayer. Keep uh, the Mad Pop family. Thank you to everybody who has already reached out. And... Um, and, and and know what I've been going through. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for already reaching out, letting me know that I'm doing a stellar job and um, to hang in there. So I just, I know it's other people who may been going through things and just to ease your mind, it's not, uh, <clears throat> to this point, it's not, um, a sexual harassment, thank goodness, um, but harassment comes in many forms, and that's the that's the main reason for this uh, forum today. Is just to because when people think harassment, they automatic automatically think um, <clears throat> uh, sexual, but it's you know sometimes people be gang stalking people, uh, rallying people against you, uh, putting negative energy in the air about you just to get people a battery in people's back to act out their actions when they dealing with people who are not as uh manipulative as they are so you could be dealing with something like that just people making things uncomfortable for you purposely um just instigating, gaslighting, fueling others. And, and people use and abuse whatever powers they do have to now wield them against you. So those are some examples as well. Everything's not always sexual, but if you do have that kind of a situation, um, definitely contact your uh, higher-ups and let them know in all of these situations. But, of course, it's times where things are ignored. And you have to figure out a way to, to rectify that as well. Definitely keep a good paper trail. And that's what... Um, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too much deep, but definitely keep your a good paper trail. When you know things are being done and things are purposely um, being manipulated and, and manifested and unauthentic events are happening just to be a, 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 a thorn in your side and create situations and interactions. You know, that's the worst part, you know, and, and, and then having people of higher level, um, and I'm not talking about this personal situation because I don't know how far this is going to go and, and, and it will be, you know, but people who are friends, family, close uh, they already know what's going on. It's clear as day. Um, and they definitely are, um, have, I have a hundred percent of their support, but to turn it around, just if it is some type of situation, this is a hypothetical. Okay. And you go to higher ups and they're not, they're ignoring the situation for whatever reason. 
So that's why I said, how many layers do we get to <clears throat> till we just stick with fact and truth? Another thing, people creating hostile environments. People can be manipulative and, and create hostile environments where there is none. Anybody <clears throat> who knows me knows I'm the nicest, sweetest person you ever want to meet. Anybody who really encounters me with a, 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 you know, some level of common sense, you know, um, get, the, get exactly that back. I'm kind to <clears throat> celebrities all the way up to the janitors, and, and I see I'm pointing higher. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's, it's, and everybody feels that. Everybody feels that when they deal with me. And I, I, I kind of tap into people and, 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 and just, you know, just be real with people. And, and I try to be a listening ear myself. You know, you can, people feel like, people, and people know, they're not silly and they're not dumb. They know when somebody's not listening to them, not hearing them, or they're just talking and, and, and then you, then you ask someone, um, a little bit later, they don't still don't know what you're talking about. So people know when you're in tune, when what they're saying matters. I just try to treat people with the utmost respect. <clears throat> and a lot of times, that can even make you a target at places. You know, when you are uh, someone who's not with all of the maybe ratchetness or whatever that's going on. So who knows? But we do know that it's not right. It should be properly handled and not ignored. Keep good records, dates, and times. And just take things seriously. Don't do not, you know, sweep things underneath the rug. Really, really, really. Uh, put pen to paper when it comes to um, harassment at work. Make sure you guys drop in the comment section. Let us know. Has this ever happened to you? What have you done? Is this a situation that uh, to be objective, is, is, do we blame the victim? You know, uh, if, 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 you know, do we, do we blame the victim? I mean, that's another thing, you know, because we have to look at it from both sides. So, is it, a, is it, is it being overlooked and being, Allowed because it's in some type of cahoots. You know, you definitely have to have uh, uh, brought up these points to management beforehand. You know, you have to, like I have, you know what I'm saying? You have to just put your ducks in a row and let people know this is the problems. <clears throat> this is what's going on. Make sure that you um, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to end it here. If you would like to um, donate to this um, podcast here, you can cash at Mad Pop for the Godmother Podcast. Um, we're going to have a lot of serious topics on here. And if anything comes of this situation with me, myself personally, you know, I will update you guys and let you guys know. I just, I just pray that these people stop. And I said, please stop, please stop. I mean, I'm, and, 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 you know, I'm not going to even go any deep, deeper, but when you just, it's, it's, You have to be able to know what to do when you are being harassed at work.
thank you for joining this open, honest discussion. Again, please like, share, uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms, and they will be in the description box below. I love you guys. I bow humbly to you, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Until next time.